Ah. Oh. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Today is Saturday, June 1st. It is yes, June Dairy Month. So make sure to go out and eat your dairy products. Specifically, buy some organic ones too if you want to. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I'm in the, you can see I'm in here melting, and um, yeah, it's uh, we got a little rain here last night, and uh, so we got about, I think about a couple tenths of rain, not much, but just enough to make things greasy and keep you out of the field, but uh, uh, I don't know if the fertilizer, I guess I told you in yesterday's video, the fertilizer is supposed to come, but it, uh, I don't think it's going to come today, but yeah. And uh, speaking of fertilizer, um, I actually right now I'm obviously milking solo. Uh, my brother, he, uh, he took the compost spreader, or the poultry spreader back to the guy that, uh, that was renting it from, and uh, So, uh, yeah, and uh, I did, uh, I did actually do a little overview video of the spreader, just to show you, showed you guys what it looked like closer up, uh, so I'll, I'll put that, insert that somewhere in this video here, so, but, uh, uh, just hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had a cow that decided she was going to knock the milker off. Sometimes they do that. But yeah, anyway, so uh, yeah, um, I did a little overview on that spreader, and uh, so he's taking that back right now. And then, um, it's like I say, I don't know if we're gonna get it, or I don't know if the fertilizer is gonna come today. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen for sure. I know the truck, the fertilizer trucks are loaded. They're on their way up here, but they have to stop and rest. They've got those electronic log books and stuff. So they have to rest along the way. So it might be Monday. I don't know when they're for sure gonna, when they're for sure gonna come, but I guess when they come, they come. I'll definitely let you guys know. And be sure to watch, um, check me out on Instagram in case I post something in there, or I might post something on the YouTube community tab. So just keep watching. But anyways, um, yeah. So as far as what we're gonna do today, um, not too much. Um, we might haul a little more manure, and uh, but you know we really want to get that fertilizer spread before we start working. We start plowing the fields. So that's kind of what we're waiting for. And um, oh. As soon as the fertile, we get the fertilizer spread, we're going to start plowing. So that's basically what's going to happen. So we'll see what, how things go here for today. So I'll check back with you later. Guys, here's a quick overview of this poultry spreader. A quick whoa, look inside of it. Yeah, it's just the poultry spreader, manure spreader. Um, we're gonna take it back here, um, here today. But this is the, the paddles, and uh, I think it's a 20 foot, no, it's 40 foot spread. I think is what it is. So. Yeah, this thing came from. Georgia Yep, so that's the spreader that we're renting from the guy that uh, um, We bought the compost from the organic farmer that we bought the compost from so yeah I just thought I'd give you guys a quick overview of the uh, What the poultry spreader looks like well, I'm over here um, Obviously by my or by the <coughs> 720 here and um I just got done feeding the dry cows and before that I fed the milk cows and I thought 
as long as I got this battery cable here, I better put this battery cable on here. So, obviously, I uh, made sure that I got the right length. It's about four feet. And I don't remember what gauge cable this is, but that's the gauge, I think, or the gauge it's supposed to be on there. So, um, yeah, this is what I had on here. The vice grip to hold up this thing is just to really... Um, there yeah that thing is not in good shape just needs to be replaced I'm gonna have to clean up this battery post in here too and um, then it should be fine um, but just get this out of here I have to take this wire off here and that, that runs the lights what that runs again but yeah so um, yeah oh yeah those tractors it's been a pretty good tractor i just gotta get that power steering leak fixed on here someday i've got the stuff for it i just gotta do it but um yeah um right and two i gotta get this thing fixed with the flywheel the biggest problem is like I say, I know I've explained this before because this is an aftermarket machine shop. It was made by Allen Machine Works in, uh, I think it's uh, Jonesboro, Tennessee. And the problem is, you know, the old flywheel, you, you, you could, couldn't even fit your finger between here and the timing gear housing. And the biggest thing is with this thing right here, when it was closer, there, you put more pressure against the... Uh, the ring gear sooner and I don't know somehow if I could get a spring in behind here to, to whip that out it just this is that there was a less of a distance for this that thing to come out the bendex thing but because when you adjust when you pull it out so far then the clutch finally grabs then obviously it uh, starts the bendex spinning which so yeah, I don't like running it with that timing gear cover uh, or that uh, flywheel cover on there. Um, but it is what it is for now. I'll, I'll eventually get the problem resolved. I think if I just put a new one, uh, I think it will help too if I get a new ring gear on this thing. That would help. It's getting chewed up in some places. But anyway, I'm going to get that cable on. And then uh, um, I guess the next thing we're going to do is take the um, 8670 down there and hook that up to the disc because we need to disc that one corn or that one field that was it was corn last year it's going to go back into corn again this year and then, so i need to get that done that hooked up to this i got to change the power shaft on there because we still don't know if the fertilizer is going to be coming today it might be it might not depends on how things go but so anyways i got to get this job done Okay, I got the tractor parked up on a hill so the oil um, doesn't run out of the um, the back end here. So this has got the big 1,000 RPM shaft in here right now. And we need to put the 540 in here so that it's ready for fertilizer. So I'm going to do that here right now real quick. Um, my video from last fall, this is the one that went out. Uh, or the PTO, the back end, and, uh, when we were chopping corn silage, the, uh, when we had the 1,000 RPM, the regular 1,000, this thing uh, slipped out, it damaged the back end inside. That little tough dog. So, yeah. They actually, what was wore out, well, the snap ring was wore out, and the collar was wore out, too. So we just had that replaced. But it ended up costing more. I don't know what it was. Was it $3,000 in the end? I don't know. I think it was something like that. $3,000 some dollars is what it actually cost us in the end to do it. Which could have been worse. <sighs> this one out and 
then slide the 540 in. Uh, well, it's supposed to slide right on in. So, yep, we just put that, the snap ring in. And it's, uh, I know it's nice for like the newer tractors where like our loader tractor where you just pull the shaft out and there's a button in there and it changes the speed because it's electronic but I guess I'm just surprised in these Genesis series they never did that they didn't put one of those buttons in there they didn't think of it yet at that time but oh well it ain't that bad I guess okay got the disc hooked up <laughs> finally had a little trouble getting it hooked up I know this tractor sits down a little lower than the TG210s. The TG210 is actually easier to hook up than this tractor. The drawbar sits down a little lower. It's just the, the balance, the disc, or something. But anyways, yeah, we got it hooked up. Um, my brother, he is going to... At least I think he's going to grease it up, and then he's going to... Somebody will go out and start disking this field. we got to clean out some of the dirt in here from when we were disking another field. It's just amazing, you know, even with all these scrapers on here, it just that the dirt is, it gets so sticky that it just, right in between these things, it just builds up. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's just amazing how that, you get to that really sticky dirt. So, we'll have to clean that out. So, other than that, it is, uh, got it greased up and we're good to go, so, and, um, I better get that. I get going here um, I gotta head off to church and then um, I think we're gonna come back out and I want to get back to church I'm gonna try to get that disc grease because my brother didn't get it greased and I think I'm gonna go out and try to do a little bit of disking here before before evening milking well might have to finish loading up the feeder wagon here too but anyways well, uh, I'll see you guys later. Sylvester! wagon earlier and we move, we move and you also saw we move those calves around so um yes we got that done we need to get those calves moved i guess they kind of forgot about doing that so it's obviously getting too late to go out and disc so um i just need to grease it up here quick so i'm gonna run over this with the grease gun so it's ready to go for tomorrow so we can grease it up and uh we gotta disc that field just to smooth it out and we you know I think we're just gonna we need to chisel it too because we didn't get it chiseled 
or just take the disc chisel to it and go over it because we didn't get that done last fall just for some deep tillage and then we'll probably have to disc it again or dig it so I don't know but I think even if we do chisel it we can still spread fertilizer on it it'll be smooth enough but we need to get that field in that silage corn it's 102 day corn so we got to get that in obviously it's not as important for it to dry down because it's it's a uh, silage corn so anyways I'm gonna get this greased and then I'll check back with you here in a bit greasing up the disc there and uh yeah so i guess tomorrow we'll give it a go at disking and hopefully get done disking and maybe disc chisel it too and then maybe on monday uh depends on if that fertilizer shows up or not obviously it didn't show up today so um we can maybe if we could dig it maybe get it planted on monday and then uh if we get that field planted then um, we'll start plowing those these other those other hay fields and once we start plowing we're going to see a lot of plowing videos and like I say I don't know who's going to do the disking tomorrow but I guess it has it's to be determined if my brother will do the disking or if I'll do the disking but if I do the disking I'll get some footage of it so maybe I'll get a little footage of my brother doing it I'll see what happens here but anyway there I, I gotta get going here with chores so so uh, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And thank you to everybody that's taking the time to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it so much. And um, yeah, and thanks so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy the video. And please check out all my other videos. If you're new to the channel, go back and. I've got a lot of other videos. I've got over 170 videos or something you can check out. So, yeah. So, I think it's that's what it is. But, anyways, um, tomorrow's another day. And we're going to keep plugging away. We're going to get some corn in the ground. And it's time to get corn in the ground, most definitely. And, uh, oh, there's just so many of these other little things to do. Which is like, like I say, when you dairy farm. You just you got to you got more stuff to deal with than like a typical grain farmer has to deal with, and it just makes things take a little bit longer. So um yeah. So anyways, hope you guys and have a good evening and a good night and uh, take care and I'll catch you later. <laughs>